This tutorial is all about Rusty Powder, 3D Sand and PowerTex and how to make a beautiful texture in your painting all about the beauty of rust and texture. While I put my apron on I'm going to show you the materials I use for making the rust, the rusty powder, but you can find them below this video. I start with the texture, a crackle paste I made with uh, the gesso from Talens and the Easy 3D Flex from Powertex. But I have a lot of videos where I show you how I mix the crackle paste. You can see I am a bit of struggling with my uh, texture paste. It's not going the way I want it to go, but yeah, well, I like to work better with my big palette knife and uh, spray a little water on it. You can see the difference now, difference now because it is now much easier to work with. That's my favorite pellet knife. I spray some brown and black bister on my crackle paste, first the brown then the black and then I um, spray a little water on it. I spray the water because of I want the color um, stay in the deeper parts of the texture. Time to make the texture uh, with the rusty powder. I mix a Powertex, a light color, and some 3D sand that's also from Powertex, but you can also use uh, um, uh, an other kind of sand for this. I use the sand because I want a real firm uh, paste. Because Powertex is just like a paint, a fluid, you need a lot of sand to make a, a texture paste. So when you start mixing uh, the two together, don't use too much Powertex. Now I'm putting the rusty powder in. And that makes also the paste uh, more firm. You can also use uh, vinegar in your paste, but I don't uh, put it in my paste. I put the vinegar later on as you can see later in this uh, in this video you need also a lot of rusty powder uh, keep in mind that the color must be mouse gray and as you can see it's not mouse gray yet it's a light gray so i keep on uh, putting the rusty powder in my um, in my paste till I think well now the color is okay.
now we are getting there you can see that the color has changed in more a mouse gray color so let's put it on uh, on my uh, wooden uh, panel you can also use a canvas I can already see it's not uh, I'm not there yet because you can see it's more like a thick paint than it is a paste so I need some scent And again, more scents. You can see it becomes now more a paste than a thick paint. You don't have to mix now very well because I'm going to play with the texture paste and the scent. Keep in mind that it doesn't have to be a thick layer. It is all about playing with your texture paste and your palette knife. Now I'm not mixing the sand with my paste but just incorporated in my texture so I have a little bit of sand a little bit of rougher texture and a little bit of smoother texture that's what I mean also about playing with your texture now I just tap with my fingers the, the sand into the paste and I get a little bit of, of that rusty look later on. The sand provides also the different kind of rusty colors that you also see in real rust. So the sand is a very important medium to use in, in this kind of techniques. And the 3D sand from Powertex is a, not a real sand. It is a um, synthetic sand, so it's different than uh, in, in structure and texture than a real sand. Here you see me spray vinegar. The vinegar provides that the rust become uh, sooner through the paste. The rusty powder will change into real rust and the vinegar uh, speed up the process, the rusty process. Now you can see me uh, sprinkle some rusty powder onto the vinegar also so I will provide different kind of colors that real rust also has 
The results are a variation of organic looking colors of rust, texture and shades. So play with the vinegar, the rusty powder and the sand for the last layer of your texture. When you're done, check on your rusty process every now and then to keep on uh, looking if you need more vinegar or need more rusty powder into the process. Because I used a lot of sand on the last layer of the texture, you need to wipe away the loose uh, sand of the texture. Bringing some light into my texture and my rust, I need I use uh, a gesso, not on on all the painting, but just on a small part part of the painting. You don't have to be concerned or be afraid that the um, that it becomes too white because the the color that is under the gesso will shine through the gesso when it's drying. It looks maybe a little bit weird now because I have such a lovely rust on my painting but it will be okay when the gesso is dry. You will see. I use a hairspray to fix the to seal the powder, the rusty powder a little bit. I like um, blue colors with the rusty powder. So I use the Pebeo, a turquoise and um, and some water and um, my my bottle is almost empty so now I use a brush instead of the pipette to bring the color to the crackles. I spray uh, the water and I like some copper and gold in it in, 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 the, in the crackle. I use the Lindy's Gang Starburst Spray uh, Copper and uh, Gold. I make some drips with the copper. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, uh, ring the bell 
and uh, leave me a comment and also if you have a question please leave me a comment I will reply every question uh, you ask about uh, the painting or the technique and of course I hope to see you in, uh, in my next video a last look at the result you can see the beautiful different kind of colors of rust and the texture of course the organic look